the running rebels of C.H. Reeves. Wearing the number 21, the point guard is Levan Devo. The other guard, number 23, Ray Ambrister. Playing the power forward position is number 24, Oni Rose. The other forward, he wears number nine. He is Jerino Saunders. And the big center at six foot three, he wears number one, Darren Longley. Would the remaining team of the Running Rebels please join the starting five? The coaches for the Running Rebels in his first year as head coach of the C.I.C.H. Reeves Running Rebels is Mr. Fritz Grant, head coach. He is assisted by Mr. Kevin Ambrister. Now, the starting five for the mighty Crusaders of Catholic High. Wearing number 11, the guard, Dion Thurston. The other guard, who wears number 44, Wayne Carey. Playing forward, wears number 13, Godfrey Hall. The other forward, wears number 15, he is Ventroy Roll. And playing in the middle, at center, number 24, the fabulous Chivago Nicholas. Well, the remaining team of the Crusaders, please join their teammates. The coaches for the Crusaders are our national basketball coach, Mr. Gladstone Moon McPhee. And he is assisted tonight by Denzel DJ Jones. At this time, before we sing the national anthem, I'd like to ask my friend and the honorary co-chairman of the Shell Hugh Campbell Basketball Committee to please lower first the Shell flag and then our own national Bohemian flag. Mr. Pitstock, please. Thank you very kindly, Mr. Pistock. Before we sing the national anthem, I'd like to call on the assistant coach of the Running Rebels, Mr. Kevin Ambrister, to please come and give the invocation. Mr. Ambrister, please. Would you please? 
Um, I know that you're all excited, but would you please stand reverently for the invocation? Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we pause this time to give you thanks. Father, we just thank you for this tournament. We thank you for the organizing, the persons who have organized it. And Lord, we just pray that you would continue to bless them, that they may bless these young men. Lord, right now, we just pray that these young men, as they play, that you would give them courage. Lord, that you would be with them, that you would protect them and that you would help them to play in the spirit of brotherly love. Father, when this tournament is over, we just pray that they all will realize that you are Lord and you are God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Mr. Ambrister. Now I ask you to please remain standing as you are. Please lift your caps, your hats, and stand reverently for the singing of the national anthem, which will be rendered by a former student and a former head girl of the Air Badley Secondary School. She is Miss Coretta Russell, our national anthem. Thank you, Coretta. Um, tonight's game will be officiated by Mr. Sharon Storr, Chief Referee, Mr. Phil Portier, Official, and Mr. Rachel Rigby, the other official. What? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play basketball. However, I would like for Tiffany Smith, if you're in the house, please, your mother needs you at the gate. Tiffany Smith, if you're in the house, your mother needs you at the gate. At this time, I'd like for the centers of both teams to please take their positions while Mr. Colby, General Manor, Shell Bahamas Limited, throw up the ceremonial first ball.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to play ball. Good luck to both teams. May the best team win. Enjoy the evening. Well, there you have it. The, all the ceremonies are over, and the Hugh Campbell basketball tournament, the ninth version, we're ready to start the championship. It features, for the first time, the C.H. Reeves running Rebels against the Catholic High School Crusaders, a team that has been here before, a team that has won this championship tournament before. When we come back, it's tip-off time, folks. Don't turn those TV sets on. Don't go to the refrigerator. You may miss something. It's coming up, the Crusaders and the running Rebels. We'll be back. Welcome back to the AF Family Gym. Phil Smith along with Rodney Parkinson. And we're ready for the start of our championship game between the Running Rebels. In case you just uh, clicked on your tube, the Running Rebels are in green and white. And, the, and they have a little black in the uniform. Black stripes across the front of the shirts. Black stripes around the bottom of their pants. And for the Crusaders, they're dressed in green and gold. They're wearing whites tonight. This is Darren Longley. We're going to show a shot at Darren Longley because this is the man you'll have to watch all night. Where's number one across the back of his uniform? And he can go get it with the best of them. Darren Longley averaging over 30 points in his tournament. And this guy can play. This is Darren Longley. And he's the man that the Crusaders will be keying on tonight, trying to shut him down. And hopefully, they'll be able to take out the running Rebels. The Rebels are underdogs. The Crusaders of Catholic guy to Grand Bahama, the favorite. Here's the tip. Tip controlled by the running Rebels. Rule quickly in the corner. They find Longley off. Puts up that jump shot. He shot an air ball. Here comes Catholic High. The pass slapped to the bounds. And both teams early, Rodney, seemingly they'll be running the basketball. Yes, Phil. Well, uh, uh, running is the Rebels game. They will run this ball regardless of what. The Catholic High Crusaders will run when they have an opportunity. Otherwise, if, they, if CDH3 running Rebels get back on them, they'll go to the set offense. Quickly, number 21, Levan DeVoe up court for the running Rebels. And it's slapped to the bounds. It'll still be Rebels basketball. No score in a ball game, just underway. Here's the inbound pass. This is Longley out front. Shakes and slices down the middle quickly to the basket. Lick. It went in and he came out longly. And there again with a rebound. Had it rejected. Chivago Nichols with a rejection. Reeves comes up back with a basketball. This is a, and they finally get the bucket as only Rose sneaks inside for the layup. Well, Phil, you, you show CH uh, Reeves is showing the type of determination that it takes to stay in the game with the Crusaders. They're hustling and they're going after all the loose balls and on the offensive balls as well. Wayne Carey on some penetration, turn around, jump up on the basket. Wayne Carey. Phil, Wayne Carey is their best uh, jump shooter. He will, he will score no matter what. Over the back, we have a foul on number 15 of the Catholic High School Crusaders. That's Ben Troy Rule. His first of the ball game. Bolag will inbound for the running Rebels. Retired at two in the first quarter. They inbounded to DeVoe. DeVoe being pressured in the backcourt by Dion Thurston of Catholic High. DeVoe lays it up to number 23. That'll be Ray Ambrister. They go inside. Both Darren Longley comes up with the shot. DeVoe back out front, got it by Thurston. This is Longley. Holds it high, looking for some room to operate. Back up front, finds the vote. 
This is number 24, Oni Roo. Ambrister penetrates down the lane, lays it up and in. Ray Ambrister with the basket. Phil, that was a good penetrating move that time by uh, the point guard from the Rebels. Thurston inside, and Nichols almost lost the handle. Back up front, he finds Kerry. We have three seconds called against Catholic High. They caught Godfrey Hall, they're standing up. Godfrey Hall, they're standing up in the lane. Yes, Phil, uh, I guess he probably thought that uh, Chivago would have gotten that ball and put it up at the basket. Well, and Moon McPhee is upset along the sideline. It's a 4-2 score. The Reeves running Rebels on top of the Crusaders first quarter. DeVoe pressured by Thurston in the backcourt. Brings it across the half-court line. Lays it off to Darren Longley. And Brister, they're running a weave, sort of. Longley had it stripped, then got it back. Puts it up court to DeVoe. DeVoe back to Longley. Longley pulls up with a jump shot, caught it. Darren Longley. This place two points to the ball game. Well, Phil, Darren Longley is probably one of the better high, uh, jump shooters in this tournament. He is a deadly shooter from 10 to 15 or 20 feet. He is a key man for the Rebels. And Wayne Carey right back with a three-pointer. Wayne Carey from downtown. The Crusaders lead at six to five. Longley with some pressure. Back on front to the vote. Lays it cross court and inside go the Rebels again to count the basket. Ray Ambrose over the top. Fellas, as we see here, uh, the running Rebels are using their quickness against the Crusaders. They're spreading out the court and picking their chances to penetrate. They went off the foot of, uh, of DeVoe, the defender for the running Rebels. So it'll still be Catholic High basketball. Wayne Carey. Looking to inbound a basketball. We have a foul. Clearing out call on number 13, Godfrey Hall. He cleared him out, folks, with that forearm, Rodney. He sure did, Phil. He had a, uh, uh, he thought he was being pressured too much that time. He used his forearm. Ref Phil Poitier said, you can't do that. Yeah. He called a push and foul again, and it's... Darren Longley penetrates, and he, and he, he has the crossover dribble down pack. And that's causing trouble early for that Crusader defense. Yes, Phil, well, that's one of the abilities that Darren Longley has. He can, uh, Darren rather, he can handle the ball in the open court, and usually a forward guards him, and they're not quite as quick, so they have to uh, sort of try to stop him as best they can. Longley, a long three-pointer. Darren Longley heating up early. Godfrey Hall underneath the basket with the offensive rebound and stuck it back in. Here come those Rebels again. Ray Ambrister penetrates down the lane, puts it up. That's no good. Rebound inside, comes away to the Crusaders. Pressure in the backcourt is slapped out of bounds. And we have a foul on Ray, on Ray Ambrister, win number 23 for the running Rebels. Yes, Phil, well, like you can see now, this game is getting pretty aggressive under the board. The reason why uh, the refs are calling these fouls, they want to try to keep the game under control as much as possible. Well, it's an 11-7 game. Still in the first period, Deion Thurston slowly brings it across the timeline for the Crusaders. In the corner, Godfrey Hall. Chivago Nichols had it slapped away and stolen by Ambrister. Ambrister with the push. Bikes it up and in. The running Rebels with another Bill, fast break basket. The running Rebels at their best. If they can get that ball, ball like that in the open court and isolate their man one-on-one, it's going to be a, cause a lot of problems for the bigger Catholic High Crusaders. Here's Thurston. We have a foul. And they caught Levi and DeVoe trying to steal it. Boy, and the defense is... They are in one another's shoes. I'm talking about this is tough man-to-man -man action. Yes, Phil. These are two of the better defensive teams in the whole tournament right here. A 
of another foul. So number 21, Levan Devon. That's the second consecutive foul. This running Rebels team seem to keep up that defense for four quarters. Yes, Phil. They, their whole thing is play pressure defense and try to get the ball and run. Basically, that's what they do. They don't do anything too fancy. Chivago Nichols posting got the basket. Well, Phil, we're going to see Chivago Nichols operating down on the block like that on the strong side, like I said, all night. Look at the offensive tip by Darren Longley. Right up in there with the big trees, and he got it to drop. Well, Phil, uh, that's the hustle of, of number 24. They're not afraid of these guys, even though they're much bigger. They're going to challenge them every single time down the floor. Godfrey Hall counters for, C for CHS, jumper from the corner. Right. This is DeVoe, penetrates right down the lane, missed the layup, right back to Al Brister, missed the shot. That was a great move. Cat Lakai comes over the rebound. Tyson with the feet, wide open, slices to the basket. Pound the basket. Pound the basket. Bring it in. This is DeVoe. Knocked out of bounds. It belongs to CHS. No, it'll stay. It'll belong to the running Rebels. Inbounded to the vote and leave it out front for Darren Longley. Longley penetrates, puts it over the top, come to basket. Darren Longley. <laughs> Longley again. Boy, and that little young man is just heating up. Still, I think that Darren Longley could very well be the best player. He's so smooth and easy with, with his moves. Outside, Carey traveled. Cat Lakai turns it over. A 17 to 13 lead for the running Rebels. And Darren Longley, if you take a look at the last play, made it look so easy. Yes, Phil, he's very smooth. Out front is DeVoe with some pressure from Dion Thurston. Lays it off to Longley. Box pass right back to had it stripped. Pick up the Casitas pass break, and he threw it right away from Wayne, carrying out of bounds. Well, now you see the effects of the, all those games that they played, because we see now that DeVoe is cropping up on yep. a basketball court for the running Rebels. Yes, Phil, that's always a problem, and you play out of losers bracket. You have to play at least three games in one day. It's just too much to, um, for one person, one team to handle. Longley out front, and they're clearing out for Longley. Found the basket as the Reeves Rebels get inside again for two more points. Well, Phil, what they're doing, they're isolating the bigger Catholic High Crusaders in single one-on-one -on -one coverage, and they're using their quickness to get inside. Longley on a one-handed jam. Darren Longley. Oh, man, his gym is going crazy. Darren Longley. Easy Phil, easy. Darren Longley can do it all. Here he goes with the cruise. He takes off from almost from the free throw line and throws it down. Rodney Rutt, uh, Darren Longley has to be one of the best basketball players at the high school level I've seen in a long time. Yes, Phil, he definitely has all the tools. He can rebound, he can go inside, he can post up, and he definitely can run the open court. He is one tough player. Yeah, he has done it all tonight. And quickly, the Catholic High School Crusaders call timeout. So 